all right what's up y'all it's 202 link and uh yeah let's just get straight into it some common level one IT help desk issues or whatever you want to call it these are the most common ones that i come across working here now other people's environments might be different or y'all do different things or i don't know how y'all do it, but this is how we do it or whatever number one computers not turn y'all know i got my handy dandy notes but number one the computer not turning on nine times out of ten it's not plugged up i've had plenty of calls of people saying oh my computer won't come on it won't come on and whole time it's because it's not plugged up or it is plugged in but it's so loose you know what i'm saying that as soon as you hit it you know what i'm saying it, it don't work or won't power on or whatever number two let's i guess you could trickle it down on the whole desk for real for real mouse or keyboard not working once again nine times out of ten it's either not plugged up or it's something up with the drivers or even the ports might be bad so those are something to look out for uh number three no internet once again it's probably not hooked up like your ethernet cable is probably not hooked up or uh or the port itself um with it when the ethernet cord goes or whatever the plug or whatever you want to call it might not have no internet going to it so you might got to go into like the little back room find the port number and see if it even got internet going to it so that's one and i've had to go into that closet and like you gotta like do it by the floor and the numbers and trace it down and this and that you'll get it you'll get it eventually at first i was confused by it but i got that down pat too uh, another one this one just happened to somebody too no access to network drives now i don't know what be causing it computers just be having minds of their own so like i said i don't know what be causing it but sometimes people's drives will not be there or they don't have internet so when they log on let's say the plug isn't in all the way or whatever or not in at all you log on and you don't got no drives no icons or no nothing it's because you're not connected to the network so that's how that goes you can just remap the network drives Number five, the phone isn't working or the extension is wrong. The phone isn't working, no little red light. Once again, things a lot of the issues be things not being plugged up. So the cords might be wrong, and that's why it's not working or plugged in the wrong way because who knows what people do at their desk. And if the extension is wrong, that might not be nobody's fault. Sometimes updates go through and then it like messes with people's extensions. With that, you could just log out and then log them back to into the extension. So that's how that works. Dang, number seven. Oh, nope, number six. We're on six, y'all. We three minutes in and we're on number six. Uh, They can't print. Nine times out of ten, uh, I know sometimes people here, they don't come in for a long time. They log back and their printers might be gone, I guess, from inactivity. But, uh, or who knows for why they're gone. But printers do disappear or they might not work. So if they're not working, I say remove it and re-add it. That usually fixes it. Or just, if they're not there, just go ahead and re-add them. But uh, yeah, number seven, Microsoft Office not working. Sometimes people might uh, try to open up a document and it will say uh, stopped working, Office stopped working, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, Word, whatever may have you, whatever y'all using. Now, issue that uh, a thing that I found out is a lot of people that usually have issues of it saying stop working or whatever, those same people usually shut their computers down at the end of the day and we tell them not to because updates need to go through. So I would say for over, usually when that happens, I go to the control panel, go to uninstall programs, go to the Microsoft installation part, and don't click uninstall, but click change. After you do that, uh restart it and then yeah you'll see probably that it say microsoft updating and then they good to go um or if uh you can do a microsoft easy fix if it's windows 7 but nobody should be using windows 7 for real so yeah another one people complain about their pc being slow um one they probably saving it to the wrong area or two for real for just to fix that you could just use some type of a uh, software cleaner some type of antivirus stuff i usually use two different ones and then yeah so and another one is uh which was number nine another one is the monitor won't come on like i said nine times out of ten it's because something isn't plugged up so it might the power cable might not be plugged up or if the monitor isn't coming on it might be a bad vga cable uh, display port cable or whatever may have you so check those too and uh yeah those are like the main problems for real for real and you know people who uh 
pass who need the password recess and need to be unlocked and uh yeah as far as like software it all depends on what software your company uses in my opinion like um certain softwares y'all might make in-house or whatever and so yeah but it's pretty easy for real for like i said those are the most common level one jumps uh sometimes you have a uh, comment you have issues within like the software people are using and that's when it trickles down to then y'all did y'all make the software if so y'all should uh, have little ways to fix it or if not you got to contact the vendor and they have little ways to fix it but either way y'all help desk is easy for real even if you don't have no experience you can like learn it and get good at it and get molded to it or whatever it's definitely good money y'all see me go watch my videos if you're new here I mean, I've been, dang, I ain't trying to sound cocky or nothing. I ain't gonna, I've been getting money. <laughs> dang, I don't want to say it like that. But it's like, y'all know me. If you, I've been a hustler, I've been finding ways to get money. But well, with this career, like, I'm good. This career in YouTube, I'm good. So, got my dream truck, my dream motorcycle. About to buy my dream house. And that process can take as long as it needs to. Because when it comes to buying a house, that's like your biggest purchase, your biggest investment. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're thinking about joining the help desk, please do. It's a great career, great field, great money. Like, comment, subscribe, share. 201 Productions.